This kitchen is bland and needs a design touch. And this week in my design, the 50s are making a return. Now to achieve this, I'm going to be using greys, creams and a punchy mustard. To start, we paint brilliant white on the ceiling. I'm dividing the walls in two with a retro dado rail. Remember, this is all going to reinforce my little nod to the 50s. I'm using a multi-surface adhesive to attach the dado rail. I like using more glue and less nails because it leaves a nicer finish. The simple dado will be painted in the acrylic eggshell milk white. I'll be using Cloudburst, which is a French grey with underlying tones of blue and green. Now combining this with the background colour of the cream kitchen, this is going to give me the perfect background for the mustard pop of colour. This high fashion wallpaper gives across my vintage look, combining my main colours of mustard, grey and cream. And finally, we're going to make use of blackboard paint. Trevor, what do you get if you add old door and need a filling with some blackboard paint and a dado rail? It's Neville's way of teaching the kids to write over the furniture. It's a family communication device. Sand down, paint a border in milk white, apply blackboard paint to the centre and frame the borders with some dado rail. The blackboard on the back of the door gives the opportunity for some family fun. The dado has been used to bring both the kitchen and the living space together visually. The cloudburst grey paint on the wall really makes the kitchen stand out and anchors the mustard within the whole design scheme. I brought the whole look together by emphasising the mustard, the grey and the cream in the accessories. From the cushions to the vases, from the runner to the teacups, everything has been brought together. 